Senator Katie Britt, the TikTok trad wife, for her <laughs> performance <laughs> at last week's Republican response, where she came off as a bit of a caricature of a 1960s housewife. So it was a matter of time, only a matter of time, before SNL put their spin on it. With the help from, of Scarlett Johansson, take a look. Good evening, America. My name is Katie Britt, and I have the honor of <laughs> serving the great people of Alabama. But tonight, I'll be auditioning for the part of Scary Mom. <laughs> I am also selling these gorgeous bejeweled cross necklaces. <laughs> Diamond necklace goes with anything, and you can wear it from the church to the club. <laughs> and now I'm gonna get weirdly seductive for no apparent reason. <laughs> As I was saying, <laughs> the American dream has turned into a nightmare. <laughs> Was it pretty spot on? <laughs> yeah. It, I mean, she was so creepy. She was so creepy. And as I said, you know, last week, it was like Katie calling America, uh, the, the manager on America. Like, that was, that it was giving that. It was giving she was in the sunken place of women in the, in the kitchen. I, you know, the, the whole thing for me was, was really creepy, really off. Um, and I can get into the substance later about how off she really was because it appears yeah, well, she what, what, misrepresented what, what some things yeah, as well. Yeah. What do you, well, what are you guys? The, the other thing is in the actual speech she gave, because I, I honestly think they could have just rolled that right in for yeah. SNL because it felt that way, yeah. although Scarlett added a lot of nice flair to it. <laughs> she says in her original speech, Biden's speech was a performance yeah. of a permanent politician. Yeah. I remember as she said that thinking the really hard part of listening to her actual speech was the performance aspect. Yeah. It was so over the top. It took pivots in places that you were trying to follow her and it had like a creepy vibe. I did call out that it had get out vibes. It did. Mm -hmm. And they oh, did yeah, that. They did the they get, get out. It. Yeah. Yeah. So, get out. But, but she, Scarlett Johansson nailed it. Well, the best thing that happened to Katie Britt in the last few days they did is it. that ScarJo yeah. was playing her on SNL. <laughs> it was it was get out. Now you know her. Is she weird? Uh, I don't like know a weirdo? Her personally, I, oh, okay. but I, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Her. Do you, you know, know her? Is well, she a weirdo like that? I sure as hell don't know her. Oh. <laughs> but uh, the the, uh, the but I you know I saw her in uh, in some interviews. And I thought she was supposed to be the normal wing of the Republican mm -hmm. Party, That's a young woman, you know, bringing in that perspective. And she, I mean, she was so bad, even Republicans thought she was yeah, bad. Yeah, that, and I, I think what, what SNL should have done, what would have been really funny, is that they had actually played her speech. Because yeah. it was so comical and horrifying well, at the same time. I mean, during that the, they didn't need to do anything to during it. During this response, uh, Senator Britt criticized Biden's yeah. handling of the border and shared a story of a woman who was sexually assaulted by drug cartels. But it turns out that the incident happened decades ago during George W. Bush's presidency, and the cartels had nothing to do with it. And it happened in Mexico, nowhere near the border. Yeah. So yesterday, she tried to clarify things on Fox News. Take a look. To be clear, the story that you relate is not something that's happened under the Biden administration, that particular person. Um, well, I very, I very clearly said I spoke to a woman who told me about when she was trafficked when she was 12. So I didn't say uh, a teenager. I didn't say a young woman, a, a grown woman, a woman when she was trafficked when she was 12. And so listening to her story, she is a victim's right advocate who, who is telling this is what drug cartels are doing. This is how they're profiting off of women. And it is disgusting. You see what I mean? I told you she sounded crazy even in normal life. Yeah. I mean, but this is not her. This is not her regular speaking voice. I've heard her in interviews, and she does. She doesn't sound like this. Like she's about to burst into tears. I think yeah. she's. she's because nervous. that's what I'm sorry. The uh, Oscar might have gone to the wrong person. Yes. Yes. Well, best supporting actress. Wait. Do, yes. do they? I, I didn't know they gave Oscars for worse acting. 
I don't know. Well, the, here's what stood out to me in this. The, this will go down as one of the worst day of the un, re, union responses in history. Yeah. And the worst part to me was not the silly performative nature. Mm -hmm. It was this story. She didn't talk to the victim of it. So yeah. the victim learned through media reports that yeah. her story yes. was told. And there is a very real problem of women being sexually assaulted during the journey to come across the U.S. border. CBS, migra well, uh, migrants are being raped at Mexico's border as they await entry. Uh, New York Times hit a nightmare of sexual but violence. But that was the not border. the story she and that's not, yes. Exactly. Yes. So it undermines yeah. the actual suffering of women that happens as part of this mm -hmm. dysfunctional border process, and it just undermined the efforts. And by the way, terrible staff work. No one even fact checked. No, no one but she fact said I was it. just in that interview. She said, "Well, I'm talking about real things that happen with women in the cartels in Mexico." But your speech is about here and yeah. President Biden. And she yeah. framed like, it as the U.S. Yeah. Was and she was, was trying she did to blame frame it. She did Joe frame Biden it. for yeah. something that happened 20 years ago under George W. Bush in a different country. So the level of misleading that this lady did, yeah. is, you know, just has, and she's shameless about it. The part that's really she's bothers her is down. she gets caught and she's like, a woman. I spoke to a woman. Yeah. A but woman. she didn't even speak to her, you're but saying. I, I think well, we she didn't say she was going to share her story and she didn't have permission I think to. she oh. did. I think when she went down to the border, well, the woman, her name, and the woman's name is uh, Carla Jacinto, and she testified in yeah. front of Congress. She did. About yeah. Yeah. So yeah. the yeah. information is like out that. there. She that didn't was make, not the... But she didn't that make that was, it seem like that. What she this like lady one -on -one. did was she tried to push a narrative that was not so. Yeah. It just wasn't true. And if you're going to win and you want to grab people, at least tell them the truth so they have a reason yeah. to be angry. What you did was you tried to piss people off about something that was not happening here. And if you're going to do that, you know, we could be talking about what's going on in Haiti. We could be talking about what's Haiti, going yes. on in Africa. If you really want to upset people and tell them what's going on in those countries. But unless you're going to do that, stick to the truth because it's I, too easy to check. Can I just yes. add, she was one of the Republican senators who worked on the border bill that would have protected our country, would have protected migrants. She worked on that she bill, She worked too? on she that bill. And then she didn't mention it. And she also then backed Trump and voted against it.